Hello and welcome to the second video in my 3D printing adventure. This will probably be a relatively quick video. What I'm about to do is put my mask on, which I have here, and put my gloves on, which I have here, pour some resin into the printer and have a go at printing the rook. I am just gonna go for the boring, safe option of doing what they suggest. <laughs> However, that does mean that I'm not really gonna be able to talk because I will have my big mask on. So I will just pop some music on and you can watch how I do it. I may do some voiceover, I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet. But then we'll wrap the video up by having a look at what the print looks like because I'm gonna leave it running when I go to bed, which is gonna happen very shortly, and I'll find out in the morning whether it's worked or not, which will be exciting. So I'm gonna point the camera down and uh, yep, yeah, get started. I have woken up to this awesome message. Printing complete in two and a half hours, just about two hours, 37 minutes. And if I do a very funky, quick, like pan up, look, obviously still on the plate. Haven't actually taken the plate off yet. However, well, they don't look terrible. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, do the process of removing them from the bill plate and uh, getting them washed up. So um, I will again be wearing my mask and my gloves. So I will again um, just put the camera on and run it. And uh, uh, hopefully this will be relatively easy to do. Uh, but yeah, let's let's see how it goes. What you saw then was me getting all excited and premature. The build plate is still very, very damp, covered in resin. And so what I've done is I've used that little tilty thing just to leave it dripping away so that it can drain off properly. There's no particular rush right now and I'd rather do it right. So I'm gonna leave that for a few hours and I'll bring you back and then we'll have a look at popping them off the build plate, washing them and setting them to cure. I have left that for quite a few hours, so now if it's not finished dripping off, then tough. So what I'm gonna do is put my mask back on, put some fresh gloves on, and take the build plate off, scrape it into some warm water. This is still the same water from this morning, so it's cold, so I'll get some, some different water. Um, wash it off, and then I will put it um, in front of my um, UV torch, because my cleaning, um, uh, chamber isn't here yet, that's still on a truck coming to me. Um, and then we'll have a look and see what the prints look like. So yeah, let's get this done. Um, as I say, I won't be talking because I'll have, I'll be, um, I'll sound like Dark Helmet or Darth Vader, whichever film you prefer. I prefer Dark Helmet. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll just pop some music on and then we'll get this done.
Well, that was quite stressful. Oh, it was really difficult to get that off the plate, as you could see. Um, since then, I've washed stuff. I don't know if I've scratched my FEP, I'm not sure. Um, but I've just washed it in warm water um, and dried it very, very carefully with a lintless cloth. But it does look a bit scratched. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've made a mistake there. The build plate's fine, fortunately. So what I'm now going to do is get my ultraviolet light and uh, shine it down on these two fantastically printed things and then we'll have a look at them. So um, I'll point the camera down, pop some music on it and you can watch while I do that. Well then, first print done, and as you can probably hear from the racket there, I've actually got another one going again already. I did do a full wash. I think I maybe shouldn't have washed the uh, reservoir like I did. Um, it probably doesn't need to be done every time, but I'm just so nervous I'm trying to do it right, but I think that probably it wasn't the right thing to do. However, I have managed to get it clean again. It was basically, I think also I should have used distilled water rather than tap water. Our tap water probably isn't the... Uh, <laughs> cleanest and potentially should have used alcohol and today my 100% my 99% alcohol arrived so I've got loads in now so that's really good here are the prints anyway to the point they have come out absolutely wonderfully they are absolutely perfect I will take some pictures and I will pop them up after this little bit and I'm probably going to paint these as well just because they're my first ever 3D prints and so I'm really really pleased with them. What I'm doing right now is printing some barrels. What I'm going to do with this series now is have a little bit of a play, print a few things and then I'll come back with uh, the next video will probably be after like five or six prints how what do I think about the printer, any pros and cons, anything I've learned um, and I'll go from there uh, and we'll see where the series goes but <clears throat> first print worked which I didn't expect at all second print which is a thingiverse download that i've sliced myself had a bit of fun trying to get the settings right but i'll cover that in the next video um, but it does work it did warm me so i went away and got them right on the file and then it's worked um, so yeah i mean great i'm very very pleased very excited to see what i can produce so thanks ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope this has proved helpful. And if it has, please do let me know in the comments below. Uh, I always reply to everyone that talks to me. So um, yeah, don't be shy. Um, and let me know if you've got any advice, any criticisms on the video, anything you, you're looking at it going, why the hell is he doing that? Please just don't be shy. I always love to hear from you. And I'll wrap up by saying thank you for watching. And please stay healthy, stay safe and stay well. Mm-hmm.